Hello, welcome to our vlog 3721 and we've just finished a workshop on the vegan food, raw food and eating healthy and uh, practical things that one can do to improve your health. I'm Joao and this is Delfina and uh, what do you think of today's uh, workshop? It was, it was good, the workshop was called Detox and Thrive and it's all about rejuvenating your, your lifestyle, especially in these times that, that we are in uh, with lockdown, COVID-19. And it's just about making changes, being aware. And there was lots of information that, that Beatrice shared. Really, really worth it. Um, yeah, and it's about detoxing, uh, how harmful parasites are and making changes yeah that was good and uh, there's a lot of things that we learned today and uh, that we're going to be implementing in our lives which will uh, help us in many ways and I think also what was mentioned is no use buying a whole lot of expensive things if you're not going to stop uh, certain uh, things that that's yeah on, on that serve you know you know good yeah. no good um, for example you know she mentioned um, you know rather if if you smoking no use buying all these things rather uh, stops the smoking and then that goes a long way to being healthier and also it was a, a nice group of people very very nice to um, a, a lovely afternoon really nice and this is a beautiful part of town you can see Table Mountain Table where Mountain. we sometimes go hiking up there yeah, beautiful and yeah we're heading back to Paul now I'm Beatrice and I just finished doing a detox class I uh, have followed a raw vegan diet for seven years maybe because I was very sick and it helped me and it helped a lot of other people so today we went over uh, how to stay alkaline how to clean your skin how to feed your nervous system and how to get strong and feed your cells instead of killing cells with chemo and stuff like that I think we're missing one person or so, but we'll just give him a little chance. Start slowly. Yeah. So I'm Beatrice and welcome to this detox class. I'm going to show you everything that I know. I put it together like a bouillon cube. And some of it might be weird and you could just take whatever, take and use it because we're not all the same. You know, some things work for me, it doesn't work for you. You can take it and run with it. I've taken all the bullshit away. So everything is like, some of it is really weird, but some of it is good. So I, I'll just tell you my story a little bit. I was a, like a major party animal until I was 52. And I lived on, I went to 85 countries. Some of them I don't remember. I've, I've worked, but I've been so drunk and hung over most of the time. And then when I was like 52, 53, I, I, I didn't feel so good. So I went into menopause, which was very uncomfortable. Mm. Then my, and my, all my joints start aching. My fingers would look like this in the morning. So I went for a checkup and the doctor, if it had been a woman who had been nice, I would have probably gone for the treatment. But this was a guy and he was like, talk to me like my life is over. Like you're not gonna have babies anymore, so you might as well go shoot yourself. We take the, he said there's cell changes in the ovaries, could be cancer, we don't know. So we might as well take the ovaries out. Oh. And then he said, and, and, my, and this, oh, this is just going to get worse. You'll probably get like hunchback. And what did you think it was like to get older? It's not for sissies to get older. Oh. And this is like a 40 year old dude. You speak to me like I'm an yeah. old dead lady. So I walked out of there and said, fuck you. And the horse you rode in on. And so I thought, I'm going to show him. Because I lived in LA for many years and I worked for a lot of rock stars and movie stars. And they did this in the early 80s. And I had no idea what they were doing. But they asked me to make this and this and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I made it for people and I was laughing at all the people, spirulina, I had to drive to Santa Barbara to get stuff, it was great. But then I remembered it. And then I started Googling and I thought, wow, the world has changed. 
Because in those days it was hippies and mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it was athletes, models, actors, and then total hippies living out in some cheapie somewhere, with, with eating granola or whatever. And so I just started doing this and I, I, I took two years off and this is all I did. Because in Denmark you can take some years off with full salary. <laughs> <laughs> no, and 90% I got on my salary, so, which is... So I, um, I just did research, I tried everything. I fasted on water for a month. I drank this for a month. I went to Chinese people. I had coffee enemas. I went to all these weirdos, and I finally figured out what worked. But the first thing I noticed is I cut. I learned that it's not so much what you do; it's more what you stop doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you, like people, oh, I have stage four cancer. Can I buy some of this powder? It's not going to help you because you're still smoking. Mm -hmm. Cut that out. It would be much better and cheaper than buying my rocket fuel. <laughs> People are like, yeah, I've got stage four cancer, can you smoke a few? It's not gonna help you. You need to look at everything, what got you to where you are, and stop that. And just drink water like an animal when they're sick, they just lie down and they don't eat all the time. All this eating is crazy. We eat way too much. People it's it's an addiction. People are eating and eating and eating and and you find that out when you're fasting, you find that out. If you've tried that. You don't afterwards you get a little mindful of what you put in your mouth. So I did that, and within six months, first of all, my reading classes, I didn't need reading classes. Wow. Before I was like, and that also he told me, well, that's, that's just normal for all people. And I was like, and suddenly I was like, wow, I can read. I, didn't, I never had classes. I only had, you know, for reading when I got into shoes. But I don't, I know I'm 60, I have nothing. I can read everything. So that was the first thing, my eyes, which was like, wow. And then I felt my, when I got off the bread, the dairy, the sugar, all that, I immediately my hands were half, the, pa the pain was half. Wow. And my hands were, and the joints, and mm. I could only sleep on one hip, but oh, it was, my hips were hurting, everything was hurting. And so I just, I felt better and better and better, and, and I got well, more, more energy. And then, um, I didn't know what to do. I was, I was healed, and I was like, oh, then I was like, oh, or, I didn't know what to do with myself, so I came here with a friend on vacation and I stayed and he went home. And I was at Woolies and this, I was gonna go to Bali. And this lady was like, before when we could travel. And this lady's like, oh, you got a lot of green stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm juicing. And she goes, why? And I said, well, I used to have very bad arthritis. I cannot eat, if I, as soon as I eat a piece of bread, I can feel or oatmeal, I can feel it right away. And then um, she, she started crying and I was like, and she said, no, I just came from the hospital and my mother's dying of arthritis. And I was like, you don't die of arthritis. There's a slow death, but it's other things. I said, have they given up on her? And she said, yeah, they're giving up. They just give her morphine and she's screaming. They're injecting, they're giving her chemo. And they're injecting um, cortisol straight into the bones and all that. Else. And um, so I said, well, take her to your house. If you, if you want a juicer or buy one this, juice this, give her everything that's anti-acid, and, and then I didn't think about I walked out of it. A couple of weeks later, I walked out, I don't know anybody in this town, I was a tourist, and I didn't know nobody. And this lady's like, hey, raw food lady. <laughs> and I was like, that's God. Because in wow. those days, there was no, it's like eight years ago, there was nothing vegan here, not, not much. Yeah. And she goes, somebody wants to say hi. And this old lady comes out with crutches out of the car, and she starts to cry, and she's hugging me, and she won't, Oh, you saved my life, and she kept going like this. Look, look, look. and she's still alive. Sure. Oh. And then I thought, you know, these people, fuck, they get some chemo here. Mm. That is the most insane thing. And 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 um, so I said, oh, I could stay here, maybe help some more people. And that's so I stayed, and I then people start coming, and it's really good. So so I'm a big believer. You know, I have more energy at 60 than I had at 40 for sure. I moved five houses in. Six thousand five months. Oh, wow. no. I moved my restaurant. That's a bit extreme, maybe. You know? <laughs> because I was doing so many. So I would take a piece of paper like this, and then I would write all the things I do, and then all the stuff that's too overwhelming. I can't deal with it, or I've been postponing it for so long. I just write it there, and somehow that gets done by itself. It's so weird. You can believe what you want, but I promise you, even sometimes you're going to do it yourself, but it just flows. So I just say surrender to spirit. I just write, I show up on time. I'll be prepared. I'll be pres look presentable. I will have a good attitude. I will um, do what I promise to do. That's basically all you can do. And the rest I leave up to you. 
whatever. And it works. They find new houses for no money, uh, uh, businesses expand. I mean, it just works. But you could just, things that are getting on your mind that you have like, oh, I can't do with that. I don't even know where to start with that. And I think, I didn't talk to that asshole for 30 years. Should I? Uh. So you just, and somehow those people will call you. It's so bizarre. But it also, it's a little bit of a, um, my, it takes a little bit of load off your mind. Because this is where it all starts. You have to change your mind. Okay. Uh, these are just affirmations. One of mine is like, everything always works out for me. Because I used to, my family, our motto was, we're fucked and screwed and we're limited. You know, like everything was like, oh no, for us, well, that would never work. Uh, and then I write, uh, today what I expect, like today I expect nice people to come and I'll well, it was going to be nice, there was going to be no wind, all this stuff. It's just little things. It doesn't have, you don't have to blow your minds out and think, you know, it can be anything. I found the piece of soap that I like, whatever. And then, uh, what's great about today? Just a few things. Because we go into, oh, I had a flat tire that week, two weeks ago. And you know what? People come in the sick and they go into details, excruciating minutia of how their hemorrhoids are, and they can explain. But if I said, so what are you grateful for? They go, life? So you're not true, you're not honest, because you just complained about 50,000 things. You're not grateful for life, that's bullshit. You need to be able to get into minutia also, because we, you're very good at explaining to me mm -hmm. what that person did to you 50 years ago, and what da 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 da, and what's wrong with your hips, and on and on and on and on. But you can't say anything good, you have three words for that. So just write a few things, what's great about today? Because there is something great every day. If not, check your pulse, you know, your life. So it's very easy, it's not complicated. And if you know that, anything in your body is made out of the same three things. You just take care of those two things, you take care of everything. Two fluids and a bunch of cells. Your hair, your skin, your nails, everything is two fluids, a bunch of cells. 25% is blood, and you're only blood. Blood is your kitchen. Blood takes around the nutrition, the oxygen, uh, like now you, you have this, this is like half a kilo of oil, a lot of vegetables, you know? So now the, the body takes that around with the blood. The blood takes it around to the cells. And they're in there swimming. They're, they're surrounded by blood and lymph, that's all. And they're like trying to reproduce, you know? To Wow. It will go away in a minute. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. Okay, so this is raw hummus. Okay. We just soaked them for uh, two days. We just soak them to they sprout. A little bit. So we don't cook them. And then we just you blend them like normal. The like tahini and the lemon. And all that. But it's warm. No, so the sprouts are sprouts have more nutrition. Yeah. And then this is a I don't know if there's a spoon. This is the guacamole. And so it's a little bit. And if you want to know what's on your plate, there's uh, this is a lasagna, a little square one is lasagna. Mm -hmm. So we, it's like three layers. Is that a pasta? We use zucchini. So it's got tomato sauce. We've got a cashew cheese, and it's got a pesto. This is a um, <clears throat> red cabbage salad. Red cabbage is very high in iodine, by the way. Really thyroid. <clears throat> it's got lemon juice, orange juice, uh, apples, raisins, nuts, a little bit of coriander and ginger. So it's kind of like sweet salad. Mm -hmm. This is, we call it fried rice, but it's just cauliflower rice with veggies and spicy red Thai curry, zucchini pasta, and fresh um, sushi with no fish and no rice. Hmm. Yeah. And, and then there'll be some desserts afterwards. Okay. It's not that's my right now. Look at this. It's gone right down like that. 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 It's gone right down like It's soaked cashews. It's uh, sour cherries because they're very good for you. Sour cherries, blueberries, raspberries, mm. black, all the berries. Organic. And then oh, soaked wow. uh, cashews, a little bit of coconut oil, and the bottom is dates and coconut and stuff. And these are Snickers bars. Mm -hmm. The inside is peanut butter mixed with dates. Oh, I need yeah. to take, I need oh. to take home. And the name. outside is raw, <laughs> you know, this is raw chocolate. You know how we make that? Mm -mm. Raw cacao and coconut oil. Right, you see? That's it. If you, bleed, if you mix black maca and ashwagandha, you got Viagra. Yeah. 
Today we went over how to detox yourself and instead of cutting out illnesses and organs and stuff, how to detox things out and how to clean the lymph system and um, how to feel better, have more energy and how to get out of this shit show year of 2020 feeling better, stronger, more happy, more prosperous instead of giving up and taking antidepressants like most people do.